Today we're going to learn about tantalum capacitors. And I learned something recently about these things that I didn't realize how ferocious they can be. And I've only seen a handful of these in television that I've repaired. And the ones that I have replaced were for use for backlighting of the TV. And I've just came home tonight and I looked around at my circuit boards that I have and I probably got 20 circuit boards and I didn't find any on them that were surface mount. The only thing I found was this one here came off of a motherboard on the laptop. I'm not sure the voltage of it. It's not really relevant in this case. But as you can see I have it to this. This is a uh, practice solder board. I was going to make some tutorial videos on how to solder different packages. I still plan on doing that in the future. But for th today, I'm going to show how and what this thing looks like. A tantalum capacitor when it catches on fire. When you have too much current loading across it. And if you Google tantalum capacitor catches on fire, you can see thousands of pictures of these things burning up boards and apparently they have issues with them being f fake ones made from China which is kind of scary because you don't know what the specs are at that point the major malfunctions with these is when you put a load across them as you see right here I'm going to have positive and negative directly across it there is no other reason then right now for what I'm doing is to burn up that capacitor. I just wanted to see firsthand what it looks like. I've always seen the aftermath. So today we're going to plug it into my little trusty 0 to 28 volt DC power supply. I already have it set up for 24 volts just for Standard, the standard voltages, and we're going to see as soon as I p plug this in how quickly that catches on fire and what it looks like. So, here goes. I'm going to change hands here, and this is what it looks like when a tantalum capacitor goes up in smoke. So if you've had these on your circuit boards and you've seen the aftermath, well now you actually get to see what it looks like before. And it's not drawing much current. 0 0.01 amp. That's 23 volts. Might not have a connections. Let's try this again. Still the same. Let's crank it up. Cause I'm not sure what the level of capacitance of that is. Oh, oh. Well. As you can see, there is completely gone. And that was very quickly. And there you go. That's what a tantalum capacitor will do when it blows up. Thanks for watching. Maybe you thought this was cool. I'll do some more videos of different components blowing up. Subscribe if you haven't. I'll see you next time.